Greetings, mortals. Welcome to Nershe Reads SCP-0276, Time Schooner. I bet it's not as simple as just being a boat version of a time machine. Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-276 is to be indefinitely moored at site. Docks, with access given only to personnel with level 3 clearance or higher. Considering its unique qualities, no objects originating from an earlier, or possibly later, era than our own are to be taken onto SCP-276 due to the potential for loss of valuable materials. Exactly how do you define how old an object has to be before it's too old? Technically all objects we currently have exist in this era, and many of them were made in this century but have already become obsolete. VCRs were in every household not that long ago and it's been a few years since I've even seen a working one. The smartphone has not only replaced iPods, but most home phones in just a few short years. How do you identify an era by objects? Regular maintenance is to be carried out after SCP-276 has been made incapable of operation, due to containment issues. Description SCP-276 has a variable shape, size, and mass, but always appears to be a nautical vessel of make and model relevant to whatever era it exists in. Currently, it takes the form of a large sailing schooner, 92.93 meters, 304.9 feet, in length and weighing 1360 metric tons. Under normal conditions, SCP-276 operates as a standard sailing vessel capable of achieving 16.2 knots at optimal conditions, regardless of its current manifestation. On SCP-276 bridge, near the wheel of the ship, is a throttle labeled forward, back, and back again. Usage of any of these functions will activate SCP-276 ability to travel through time, while taking anyone currently on the vessel as well. This ability is only limited by the requirement that the era in question possesses some form of boat. Once again, define a boat. It is believed that life originated on some of our islands from animals riding a fallen tree across the water. Some ants use leaves and the corpses of their brethren to cross water. These are things one can only presume have been happening for far longer than humans have been smacking each other with clubs. Attempts made to travel before the emergence of human life have failed, as well as trips made into the far future. <laughs> Bull. The throttle will act in relation to the current era, with the exception of back again which will return SCP-276 to modern time. It is unknown if operation of SCP-276 can fundamentally alter history, due to the retroactive nature of time. Any changes made would have already taken effect, and all current research into SCP-276 is related to making sure that any possible manipulation of the timeline does not occur. Of note is the anti-anachronistic nature of SCP-276. Beyond its tendency to change its form to the respective era it resides in, all non-human objects on SCP-276 will alter as well to become time appropriate. A flashlight taken back to the early 1700s will revert to a more primitive form of illumination such as a gas lamp. Ooh, neat. Organic life is unaffected with the exception of creatures that either do not exist yet, or have ceased to exist. In both cases, the animal will become another species from the closest taxonomic rank it shares. Well that can't be comfortable. Dead persons brought to modern times are similarly affected, becoming an entirely different person. Genealogical testing reveals that the subjects are Note. SCP-276 is not, I repeat, not to be used as a recreational device, especially involving exploitation of SCP-276's temple qualities. Temporarily restricting access to level 4 personnel until further notice. Addendum. As of the newly formed Mobile Task Force Row 5, Stitch in Time, is to be assigned to and given full security clearance involving use of SCP-276. After taking into consideration SCP-276's ability to fix anachronisms and errors in time, all missions involving temporal tampering are to be headed by Row 5. You'd think they would have used it to tell themselves to not launch 682 into the sun under any circumstances, 